Say hi. Hey guys, so this is my one week postpartum video after a repeat C-section. So technically eight days ago, I gave birth to Adeline and it's been a crazy eight days. For a repeat C-section, I feel pretty good and all my friends that have seen me and the few family that have come to see me have said that I look really good and that I'm moving better than they thought I would. So um, I guess I'll start from the very beginning <laughs> of my labor and delivery my labor and delivery there that will be a separate video where i actually like discuss what happened and everything but pretty much labor and delivery was completely different and very unexpected i was not expecting to um <laughs> give birth last tuesday i went for my basic appointments the last ones the last ones just to see my doctors say hey see you next week um everything was looking great and then I was expecting to go home and finish the house and do laundry and stuff like that needed to be done and uh, so then i went and we ate lunch and then we went back and turns out that her fluid was really low and it went from not having a baby that day to having a baby and it becoming an emergency <laughs> having a baby so uh, they had to wait for eight hours for my food, my lunch to digest. And then uh, they also had to wait for Cliff to get up there and stuff. Like I said, that will be all in a separate video. And once that video is up, I will put a key card somewhere on the screen so that way you can click it and uh, go watch that if you're watching this after it's already been up. And then everything in the hospital, I kind of recorded as much as I could. I think I updated quite a bit on how I was feeling and how everything was going. I was really itchy this time around. I remember with Declan, I was hot. Or no, I was really cold when I went in. And this time, I was so hot. Like they were like, oh, it's gonna be really cold in there. You'll be okay. And I just walked in and I like was sweating still and it was ridiculous. <laughs> the recovery room was quite different as well. The time the baby was in there and so was Clifton. When before I was just alone and the baby was in the nursery. So that was different. I'm also doing a video of what was different between the deliveries. Uh, it will be a collab video. You know, all these mean hiccups. How am I feeling one week after giving birth? I'm feeling okay, I guess. I'm not really feeling myself. A lot of things were different. Like I said, it, I wasn't expecting to go into labor last week, I guess. I was expecting to go actually the 29th, which was one week later. There was, oh no, it was a lot, it's a lot different. This is my second C-section, so I feel like with just the bunches of changes and then trying to make sure Declan's okay and making sure she's okay and they're liking each other and I haven't really had much time to focus on how I'm feeling or myself or anything by the end of the day I am deadbeat exhausted <laughs> I also forget to take my pain medication which in a way is good because then I'm not like really worried about taking pain medicine every I think it's like four hours or something that and then having to wean myself off I mainly take it at night because I guess that's when like everything hits me and I start hurting a lot especially if I take a shower I'm trying to take showers every other day and not every day I've been trying to do that but if I do take a shower then it seems like my incision hi, is more um, more sensitive and I guess because it, it, it does get wet and stuff so it's I haven't really focused, like I said, on myself. I've been focusing on the children and uh, Clifton and making sure the house is clean and making sure everything is fine. And like I said, I forgot to take my pain medicine. <laughs> one thing I can't update is I have breastfed for one whole, one of the, one full week now and it's been quite the experience. Yes, my, my milk came in on Saturday. So she was, she was born Tuesday at 9.09 p.m. So she, four days old. And, sorry, mommy's brain is still, I guess that is how I'm doing. My brain is still um, cloudy and fuzzy. And 
like I feel spaced out a lot. You want baby? I did go home on Thursday. So I've been home since Thursday evening and honestly I felt better getting home. Once I got home, I was able to move around, uh, well not move around a lot more. <laughs> the video shows that I kind of like got in bed and did not move. Um, once I got up those stairs, it was done. But once I got home, I felt a little bit better. I was saying, oh, I was saying that my brain is more fuzzy, um, but that's just part of the um, pregnancy brain. It lasts up to six months. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, cool, I won't have pregnancy brain. No, you'll have, most likely you'll have pregnancy brain up to six months, which kind of sucks because I remember being fuzzy with Declan for a while. I don't think it was six months. I think it was more like maybe the tops two months. Uh, I have been down and luckily I do have Clifton and I have really good support system of friends and family to constantly check in on me and make sure I'm doing okay and make sure that I'm not too hard on myself which I usually am even not postpartum I'm very thankful I have all of them to tell me <laughs> that I'm doing good because half the time I feel like I'm just failing the doctors kept having to reassure me that I was doing okay with breastfeeding because with Declan I tried and it didn't work out so I just went straight to formula and with this time I mean she latched right on we had a great first experience I guess and then I don't know I just felt like I wasn't doing it right so I kept calling in nurses and consultants and stuff like that I don't know I just I guess I need to be reassured a lot I have to keep reassuring to Declan that if he still loves me uh, I feel like I've made him very mad like he was really excited about uh, baby sister but I don't think he realized that I wouldn't just go right back to being able to rough house with him and stuff like that because of my incision I think he just thought that I would go right back even with baby sister so I feel like he's really mad at me I have to keep reassuring or having reassurance from Declan as well that he's not mad at me um sleeping is kind of not an option for me at the hospital I thought it was just because nurses were coming in and I kept having this constant fear that somebody was gonna walk in and take Adeline from the room and I wouldn't know where she went um she only left the room one time at the hospital uh, my incision does not really bother me until like I said about nighttime I think it's when I lay flat is when it really hurt like when I stopped moving and stopped doing things and just I guess let my body actually relax it start it doesn't hurt on the outside it hurts more on the inside something nobody told me about was postpartum contractions and those hurt like all my friends they're like yeah they hurt and I was like yeah imagine how they feel with the <laughs> c-section and they hurt ten times more finally I found a friend who did have a c-section <laughs> and she said the same thing she was like those are a b-i-t-c-h and I was like yeah they kind of are um it kind of felt like period cramps times 100 and then i could feel like the tugging on my incision and i really thought i was gonna have to go back to the hospital because i did not get them until we left so it was really hard and i did not get them with declan and i'm guessing it's just because um i did not i didn't get a chance to breastfeed declan so was like okay and then my body just never did that those lasted maybe four or five no i i want to say they lasted till about saturday sunday maybe like sunday i had like a few bleeding i don't know if postpartum bleeding for a c-section is the same as vaginal bleeding i don't know if i i never how to go through that um with declan it did not last long with this one i think it's because i am breastfeeding uh, it's lasted a little bit longer and I mean it's not heavy heavy um, the postpartum bleeding is light I guess uh, oh there we go good job uh, I'm just trying to cover everything let's see is there anything I forgot um, I will show you guys my um, belly I'm not sure if I'll be able to lift up like the part that's kind of like overlapping my incision right now I probably will be able to next week but I'll, I'll try 
but uh, this is all I can really think of for this week. I'm walking fine. I walking up the stairs is fine. If I I can tell when I start overdoing it, so I've been trying to not overdo it. And plus, cluster feeding has kind of stopped me from overdoing it. Anyway, so that's all I can think of for right now. Make sure you check out Adeline's one week update, which will be recorded right after this. Well, right after I technically get her brother into the bath. But you wanna say anything? Do you feel better? You gotta get used to it. We're on the show a lot. Thanks guys for watching and if you have any questions, go ahead, comment them down below. I was trying to remember as much as I can for a one week postpartum video. Get your brother in the bath. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Okay, so this is actually the next day and I was editing the video and realized I never showed you, showed you guys my one week postpartum belly. So here's my one week postpartum belly so I can put it in the video. So this is the front. Um, I'm not going to show you the incision just because it is, I'm kind of tender today. Um, what I do have to do since this part, since you kind of have like an overlap, I have to put these little gauze pads underneath like where the incision is and then where my belly flip flaps and I put um, these little gauze pads in it in it um, over it so that way sweat and then the rubbing of like pants and stuff like that don't bother me so here is Thanks for watching.